Thank you for joining us tonight on five on your side at 10. I'm Ann Allred and I'm Mike Bush. The Parkway West High School community gathered at a vigil this evening in honor of 15 year old Kendall Johnson. Pepper Baker joins us now live from campus where the vigil happened just moments ago. Mike and without knowing who Kendall Johnson was, I got a sense for the impact that she left behind here in this community. It was a big turnout. Emotions were very high. Lots of tears, hugging and stories shared by the people who will never forget her. A few hundred broken hearts gathered at Parkway West High School's softball field where they wish they could see number 23 Kendall Johnson play one more time. You know, she's really gregarious, um, had a bunch of friends, was really funny. Um, she sounded really fun and a, a really good athlete as well. Counseling coordinator Aaron Schulte is working with family and students after 15 year old Johnson died Sunday afternoon in a boating accident on Table Rock Lake. Schulte rolled out their response plan that night. At the people that were more directly impacted, um, we started gathering resources from the, the outside. This is a very traumatic situation, so they're going to need something um, different and bigger than what a school district can offer. She called in their school counselors to offer services at the Welcome Center. They're helping students process the tragedy and prepare for what's ahead. You know, it becomes real when when the first day of school happens and that person isn't there or we have the first softball game and she's not there or it's homecoming, etc. Wednesday night's vigil was a student led effort that circulated online and many showed up to pay their respects. We've heard kids just relay really great memories of being with her and especially the softball team had a lot to say about just fun times of being being a teammate with her and she was such a good teammate to them. Um, and so I know that they I know that they all will miss that very much. The students placed flowers and balloons on the first base, which was one of the, the positions that Johnson played. She would have been an upcoming sophomore this year and her funeral arrangements are planned for this Friday at 10 a.m. at the Crossing Church in Chesterfield. Live in Baldwin, Pepper Baker, five on your side.